so today's video is going to be my monthly Birchbox versus Ipsy, which if you saw my last one, we're giving Ipsy until the end of December to perk it up or I'm going to cancel it. So to be honest, just the thought of canceling it like relieves me because there's just so much crap in it that I never use. But um, I am gonna give it through the holidays because these boxes usually get better during the holidays. So I'm being smart and I'm just gonna stay on till then and then we'll see, I guess. But when I said I might be canceling it at the end of the year, a lot of you felt the same or had already canceled. So it's nice to know I'm not in this boat alone and that I am not the only one who feels like this, so maybe they'll perk it up, I don't know. But um, until then, we're going to unbox as usual and see what happens. So I have them both here today. I'm excited, so let's start with Birchbox as usual. Aw, oh, beautiful, it's a breast cancer awareness box. I like that very much, and it's pink. I think I got a curated box this month. Oh, yes, I did, I did, I did. I'm already very pleased with what I'm seeing. All right, so the first thing I'm seeing, which I'm very excited about, is this Origins Checks and Balances Frothy Face Wash. Wash, can't talk. <laughs> I did pick this curated box because it had a lot of skincare in it that I wanted to try, and this is one of them. I've heard so many good things about Origins, but I've never actually tried anything myself. I actually just got a sample from Sephora of the Ginseng Eye Cream, which I'm really excited to try, and I'll be trying this as well. I've Heard a lot of good things, I think, from like Miss Glamorazzi and stuff like that. I think I'm the only one who still calls her that. Her name is Ingrid, but she'll always be Miss Glam in my heart. But anyway, I love face wash samples and I'm excited to try Origins, so let's read about it. The full size is $21 and it says combination skin cleanser that balances oiliness oiliness <laughs> and dryness for a glowing complexion. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Next, we have a Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion, which I used to use this in high school, so I've already tried it. It's really good for really dry ass skin. Like I remember when I would get dry skin around my nose, this would fix it right up around my chin. And it says very dry to dry combination. So I know I love this stuff already. I just haven't used it in a really long time. So I'm excited to have it again. I will use this right up in the winter. The full size is $26 and it says iconic dermatologist developed formula that provides lasting hydration also while strengthening skin. Oh, there it goes. I'm actually super excited to try this again, so yay! Oh look, it comes with a little pin. I'm gonna put that on right this minute. There, you can't really see it, but it's there. <laughs> Next we have something from Estee Lauder. This is the Revitalizing Supreme Global Anti-Aging Creme. This is fancy little packaging. Look at this little jar. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. I don't really know what this does, so I guess our only option is to read. Okay, this says silky creme cream with intuigen technology that knows your skin's needs. Significantly diminishes the look of lines, wrinkles, dullness, and dehydration. And the full size is 50 bucks. I'm hella excited to try this. Yay, so much good skincare in this box. Next is a Prescriptives False Eyelashes Plush Mascara. Let's take a look, see. Ooh, that's a nice nice ass brush. I'm excited about that. I've heard of this brand, but I've never tried anything from it. Let us read. The full size is $23. It says conditioning mascara for lush dramatic lashes with loads of length and volume and no clump. I'm excited to try that. It says conditioning mascara. That sounds great. And last but not least is a Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer Oil Free. I think I already have this, but I don't care because I love primer samples, so I will use this right up. And I know I love the Smashbox primers. I'm currently loving their primer water. I go through primer a lot, so I'm always happy to have a sample. The full size is $36, and it says worn alone or under foundation, this best-selling oil-free formula creates a flawless, velvety smooth finish. So yay! Okay, that was a great Birchbox. Yes, I did pick one of the curated boxes, but who cares? That was way worth $10. I'm very excited about all my skincare samples, and I highly doubt Ipsy will live up to it, but let's see. <laughs> That's not being positive, Ains. You gotta be positive. Okay, so here's the bag. It's two different colors on each side. That's kind of cool. I kind of like it. I don't love it, but I like it. This is like a patent feeling thing, and this is like a... I don't know, feeling thing. <laughs> and it's called Alter Ego, Dare to be Different. Oh yeah. All right, so let's see what's inside. Tweezers, yippee. At least they're like pink. They do look like they might be nice, but I don't wanna get this in a makeup sample. Like I wanna pick out my own tweezers. Okay, well, there's tweezers, so okay. <laughs> Off to a rough start. If there's an eyeliner in this bag, I swear to God. Next, we have a cream eyeshadow in bronze from Micah Beauty Cosmetics, and I believe this was like an Ipsy exclusive. Blends out kind of nicely. It felt like it was hard to get out of the pan, but um, it went on pretty smooth. And that's a fun color for fall, so we'll see. Oh my gosh, this is so small. I was very excited about this sample. This is the Othermal Aven Soothing Moisture Mask, which I was like, heck 
Yes, because I love this brand. I love my little face spray. But come on, that's so small. That probably has like three, four, if you're lucky, uses. Actually, maybe even only two. I have a big face. <laughs> but I am excited to try this. I've been all about moisture masks lately, so I'm very excited to try this, and I like this brand. Everything I've tried from them, I've really liked. So, uh, yeah, we shall see. Oh, yes, everybody in their bag this month got either a Meet Matt Hughes by the bomb or a little Mary Luminizer by the bomb. I was indifferent because I already have full sizes of both. I got the Meet Matt Hughes in Committed. I actually did an entire video on this collection of uh, liquid lipsticks, so I'll have it linked up here. The bomb was kind enough to send them, so I did a whole video on them. I really, really like them. They have a nice pepperminty scent, and they have a good color range of kind of like nude reds, just for like everyday colors. I love the peppermint scent. This one's kind of like the pinky mauve shade of the bunch. Really nice. I really do like these, so check out that video if you didn't. I thought that was a pretty good toss-up because both of those products are pretty amazing, so hopefully you got whichever one you wanted. I thought that was a good thing for everybody to get was a sample from the bomb. So very cool. And then last but not least is this Ares, Ares hand cream. I really like the packaging of this bottle called Pompous Sunrise. You guys, it squirted into my nose. Oh my God. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Um, it's a very subtle scent. It smells like cologne, but like not a good cologne, but it's subtle. Uh, it kind of smells like peppermint. I'm not really sure. I think, I don't know what's going on with that scent. It's very light, which is good, and I'm always looking for a hand cream to put in my bag, so that's cool. And that's actually a decent size sample, unlike the moisture mask, so yay! Okay guys, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Ipsy definitely was a little bit better than last month, but still, I mean, it was pretty good, because I would use all of this stuff. It's when they send stuff that I really just don't want that I get really annoyed. I'm not in love with the tweezers, but at least it's somewhat useful. But I will definitely use the mask. Birchbox still totally won, because that was a great box full of really fun skincare products. That's why I love Birchbox, because it's like skincare stuff that I wouldn't want to pay for but they'll send a sample and if I love it I can use Birchbox points so that's kind of why I like love skincare samples from Birchbox so yeah let me know what you guys think what did you guys get in your boxes this month and yeah let's talk down in the comments so I love you guys I'll talk to you very soon please subscribe right here Subs oh a butterfly come back oh that was beautiful I'll see you guys on Twitter and Instagram and all that and snapchat at Amy Lynn Butchin and yeah I love you guys I'll talk to you very soon I hope you have a great day and yeah bye I freaking love these. I love the color. I hope they work well. I'm sure they will. So there's this size and then there's this size. You can't really see. <laughs> that size and then a little smaller one. So 